So, in my Free Space 2 video, I touched on that game's extensive modding scene and the truly incredible amount of work and dedication that's gone into it, from creating everything from graphical enhancements to full-blown campaigns. But there's one other aspect, something I didn't quite find time to touch on in that vid. You see, with Free Space 2's engine being open source, you're not limited to just making mods. It is possible to build entire standalone games. Enter Diaspora Shattered Armistice. Set in the opening days of the Second Cylon War, this game follows the Battlestar Theseus. Like the Galactica, the Theseus is an older ship. It's out on patrol deep in space and thus has not received the compromised software and hardware upgrades that cripple the rest of the colonial fleet. As the war begins, the Theseus is attacked by a Cylon fleet but manages to hold off the initial wave and escape, eventually making it back from the fringes of the system only to discover the fate of the colonies and the colonial fleet. And finally, with some surviving civilian ships in tow, making a run to reach Ragnar Anchorage and the rendezvous with Galactica to escape the system. It's a fresh and engaging perspective on the events of the Battlestar Galactica miniseries, as told by a crew a bit less fortunate than that of the Galactica, and it 100% nails the apocalyptic tone of both the Battlestar Galactica TV series and the final few missions of Free Space 2, with the Theseus going down in a blaze of glory engaging multiple Cylon base stars at close range with every nuke she's got. While the few surviving civilian ships make the jump to Ragnar and join Galactica's ragtag fleet. The game is pretty short, maybe an hour or two at most, but it's tightly focused, loaded with spectacular visuals, engaging gameplay, and a really well-written story. The production values on display are truly something else, with a massive amount of custom visuals, high-quality models, a whole original soundtrack, and a full cast of voice actors. Everything feels exactly as it should. The spaceflight is a little floaty, emulating the semi-realistic physics seen in the show. The design of the Battlestar Theseus is so on point you could well believe it's a canon entry in the franchise. The score emulates the sound of the show accurately and stands well on its own. The Cylon base stars and raiders are faithfully recreated and every gun, missile and explosion look and sound exactly how they should. But what's most spectacular is that this is just made by some people. Fans of a beloved show who realized it was perfect material for a space combat game, so they went and made one. Not only that, but they made what is possibly the best Battlestar game, easily eclipsing the franchise's earlier entries into the MMO space and on the PS2, and of comparable quality, if not length, to Deadlock, a strategy game produced by a medium-sized studio. Not a small achievement by any stretch. There are, of course, a couple of minor frustrations, like Free Space 2, there's a little jank. Do yourself a favor and turn off any window scaling you might have going on. There's an unnecessary number of controls, far from all of which are important. And again, like Free Space 2, it also plays best with a flight stick, though you'll be able to get through it with a keyboard and mouse. Ultimately, however, any criticism I could levy at this game really is over the most minor of frustrations. I think this project demonstrates what an incredible tool the Free Space Open engine is. This game was released in 2012, 13 years after Free Space 2 and 10 years after the release of Free Space 2's source code and the dev tools. And not only does it still look great a decade later in 2022, it really shows just what wonders this engine and this community are capable of. Diaspora is one of many brilliant community projects that surrounds Free Space 2, and if you want to start exploring the work this community has produced, or are just looking for a fun space shooter to kill an hour, I cannot recommend this game enough. If you want to download the game, you can either grab the standalone installer from the Diaspora website, or install it through Nosos, that's Free Space 2's mod management tool. I have both linked below, it's free and it is unbelievably worth your time.